Welcome back to the Shop Mini RC, everybody. I'm Ken, and today we are looking at something that we've had for a really long time. I want to preface this that we've had these sitting on our shelves back here, waiting. We've been working on stuff, trying to get um, different, uh, uh, basically, servo mount made. Vitavon does not make a lay down servo mount, they only make the stand up servo, and we're trying to use the uh, aluminum ripper. This guy here, we've got the uh, a prototype aluminum ripper so i felt like the milled aluminum 7075 vitavon parts would be perfect for that um, but we need to lay down servo mount and so i had to reach out to a couple different people we'll talk about it some more as we go through but it's just been sitting there we've got all these amazing we'll, we'll go through it we've got some amazing parts here um, we're not going to be able to do a full build, but I'm going to show you what there is for now. When we get what we need to do the build, we will do a full, the full build on this prototype aluminum, uh, ripper, TRX farm ripper. And, um, but yeah, we're waiting on, uh, basically servo tray. Um, hopefully we have somebody, he's pretty well known in the SCX 24 community. He does a lot of milling work and whatnot. So hopefully he can get us that made. We do have a 3d model of it. Uh, I thought about sending it out to like send, cut, send or whatnot, but they want an astronomical amount to do it because it's not just a flat rail you know it's it's a it's a, needs a full milling machine so anyway it's just i feel really bad vitavon sent us the well we we paid for it but we we had a little bit of a hookup here we'll be honest just a little bit but we did have to pay for this stuff um but it's been sitting here and i was really excited and i was you know wanted to show all the vitavon stuff as soon as it came out but i wanted to do it in a way that was part of a build and it just didn't happen so again we just lay down servo mount is a big key part to the ripper build so we're just waiting on that to do the full build. But I want to show you guys this stuff. Sorry, I'm ranting. You can use the chapters below to skip forward if you want. But um, yeah, so huge shout out to Vitavon. They make some of the best, if not the best, parts for uh, aluminum parts. When it comes to high quality 7075 aluminum machined parts, like Vitavon's the top dog, like Ferrari of the industry when it comes to... Uh, to upgrade parts so they do a lot of bigger stuff they don't really do mini stuff which is why when i saw that they were doing the trx 4m uh parts we just had to get them in to show you guys so let's check this stuff out i'm going to open it all up and show everything to you and um you can see what it's about this stuff is exciting it is um it is the highest quality trx 4m parts you can get honestly all right guys so like i said the plan is to throw it on this guy you don't know much about this when we do the build video uh we will probably end up talking about it quite a bit uh mia's made two aluminum chassis uh platforms one for the scx 24 and one for the trx 4m uh we're currently missing our panels they're out getting wrapped that's another thing that was holding us back uh our bumper panels roof hood stuff like that are all getting custom wraps for all of our rippers so we're waiting on that to come back as well um but they made 100 um numbered units of the trx 4m ripper they made 207 of the SCX24. And now, mind you, there's the prototype, so that adds another one. Um, we have the prototype for the TRX4M as well as the SCX24. Um, so that adds another to that 100. So there's 101. Plus, there were three or four special ones that were numbered 111, 222, 333, 444. Those are for uh, giveaways and comp event prizes and stuff like that. Uh, they have been held back. I think only one has been given away so far. Um, and then for the TR or for the SCX 24, I believe there were a couple extras made there as well. So basically under uh, 110 of these for the TRX 4M and under uh, probably 210 for the um, SCX 24. There's a special owners group for these guys where only owners are allowed in there. They're all uh, registered basically with the owner who the original owner was, basically the heritage or the provenance of each one ever made. Um, these things took like 15 hours to mill out of a single block of aluminum. Very, very resource intensive to make them. They start as a solid block of aluminum. So imagine uh, essentially like a block of ice or a block of wood and you chisel away at it. There's no mistakes, right? Uh, so this is one solid piece. The only parts that are screwed on, obviously the interior, the shock mounts, and then this single roof section here is bolted in. And they did that so that you could access the inside if you needed to pull it apart. And uh, otherwise it'd be a real pain to put together. So um other than that, all of the chassis is all one piece of aluminum, which is insane. So 15 hours. Um, if you know anything about 3D milling or, you know, five axis, six axis, well, I forget what it is, six axis milling, um, it runs in the U.S. about 100 to $200 an hour. 
So you figure this guy takes 15 hours, about 10 for the cage itself, and then the hood is like another five hours. So 15 hours, that's $1,500 just in mill time. So that's why these things are so expensive. Um, they've all sold out. You know, they're only available for like two or three days before they sold out. Uh, they wanted to do a quick limit, or not a quick, but they wanted to do a limited run. It took them a long time to mill them all, so they could only make so many, um, but they wanted to do something special for the community and for anybody that was a Mias fan. Um, they knew they were coming, and they did have an opportunity to get them. If you're a big enough Mias fan, you would have known they were coming, So especially the SCX-24, because this guy came out first, then the SCX-24 out came out, came out later, which is why they made more, because they knew that this would build hype. Um, and they were, this SCX-24 is a little smaller, so they can mill faster. Why not? Anyway, the video's not about this. The video's about these guys. Um, I just want to give you a little history on that. But that's why this is so such a special uh, product to be putting on the Mias Ripper. Uh, because we wanted something that kind of matched the raw aluminum. So this guy is going to stay pretty much all raw aluminum, except for the panels where they're wrapped, which we can always remove if we want to. But we really wanted to highlight the aluminum. And so Vitavon makes beautiful aluminum products, guys. Absolutely beautiful. They're all out of 70, 75 aluminum. Um, everything's just been sitting here waiting for us. They do make some gears, transmission housing. And then these are some 3D printed uh, servo mounts that we had. Um, Opi Factory, I'm sure you've heard of them. Uh, they do a lot of 3D printing stuff. He went ahead and designed some 3D, uh, some mounts uh, that we could use for 3D printed mounts. Now, obviously we don't want to run 3D printed mounts on this build. So like I said, we have somebody that does milling working on these for us. Hopefully they come through. Uh, we've been waiting quite a while on trying to just find somebody to do it. And then once we found somebody to do it, it's, you know, it takes time to get, to get there. So he wants to make sure they're right. So hopefully we'll get those soon and we'll be able to do the full build. But here's what Vitavon offers currently for the TRX-4M. Okay, they've got the transmission housing should have the internal gears already in there so actually it's more than just a transmission housing it's a full transmission we've got our front and rear axles these guys are the centerpiece um, we've got a ring and pinion here this is a 1224 ring and pinion we have our skid and then we have some transmission gears and then the links okay so i'm going to open this stuff up real quick and just kind of walk you through it I love how they, I mean, it's kind of tedious to get out, but I love how they uh, individually package the links. That way they stay nice. They don't get all, they're not in a baggie, just getting all scratched up and stuff. So that is very cool. Um, everything other than the gears, obviously, are made with 7075 aluminum. Now, just to give some insight into 7075 aluminum, it is one of the best materials if you want strength, durability, and lightweight, okay? And we do want lightweight. We can add the weight where we want it to. If we wanted to add some heavier knuckles, stuff like that, we could. Um, but ultimately, you want stuff like the transmission housing, the skid, the links, um, majority of the actual housing here, you want lightweight, right? Um, so 7075 aluminum is going to do that. It's also going to be the strongest and most durable. So if you can imagine, you have all the different types of aluminum lined up. There's 60, 61, 20, 24, 70, 75. And if you were to test how much force each type could handle before bending or breaking when you're you know, trying to bend it, you're going to find that 70, 75 aluminum is the strongest of all of them. It's basically the tough guy of the aluminum family. And um, it's able to handle really heavy loads and stressful situations much better than all the other uh, you know, different types of, of aluminum. Now, while all aluminum is generally pretty lightweight compared to other metals like steel and brass, obviously, uh, 7075 aluminum manages to be both strong and light. So that's super important for, uh, you know, they call it aircraft grade aluminum because they use a lot of it in aircrafts because they want it light and strong and durable. Um, so you can kind of think of it as the featherweight champion, right? It's uh, not only tough, but it also doesn't have a lot of weight to it. It's super light. It's basically perfect for anything where you want something sturdy, but don't want to add the extra bulk so you can make things smaller and more streamlined and yet still have the, the strength along with lightweight so that's a huge advantage and then the last most important thing in my opinion is durability right not just so strength is different durability is different strength is if we were to try to bend it durability is like how long will it last does it corrode things like that uh, aluminum 
is pretty good overall, but 7075 aluminum is like superhero of durability. It's highly resistant to things like corrosion, which means that it won't rust or degrade. It's also um, pretty heat resistant and dissipates heat well. So stuff like the transmission will help dissipate heat really well because it's 7075 aluminum. It's also raw, it's not painted. So the transfer of heat will be more direct to the transmission housing. Um, just overall, it's not going to degrade over time when exposed to tough environments or just time itself, right? So if you want something to withstand the test of time, make sure it's 7075 aluminum. It's going to be a, basically a lifetime product, right? These are going to last a lifetime, okay? You know, as long as they're, you're not like driving it off a cliff, <laughs> which which we've been known to do. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, basically 7075 aluminum is the best of all the aluminum types, strongest, lightest, most durable, all that good stuff. And um, that's why Vitavon chooses to use it because they are cream of the crop, top of the line, number one, when it comes to machine milled parts, right? They, they make parts for a ton of different things. Look at all the low C stuff they have, the LMT. They've even got the uh, Pro Moto bike um, as well as the, well, I don't see it on here. They have the mini LMT stuff as well for the new 118th scale LMT. I don't know why it's not showing on this list. It uh, it shows on my desktop. It's right below the Pro Moto. Uh, they also have tons of Traxxas stuff, Arma stuff. Obviously, a bunch of Axial stuff, Cinecone, Fortec, Kyosho, Savage. I mean, tons of stuff in here, guys. They've even got wheels, tons of wheel options. Uh, pinion gears, just a ton of other awesome stuff. Bearings, you name it, they've got it. Definitely check out Vitavon. I mean, look at this Wide Max kit. That's insane, guys. Talk about blinged out. It's that is nuts. Forty seven hundred bucks. If it's something you want, and you're willing. There it is, guys. Everything from low C's to Traxxas and Arma Bashers. The SCX6 has a 6x6 kit, my, and that thing looks like a total beast. I mean, we would, <laughs> if we had an SCX6, we would love to have that. But the the uh, the parts for the 6x6 are, here, we'll show them over here. It's pretty insane. But they're like 1100 bucks, so they cost as much as the truck itself does. But again, you're looking at something that's going to last forever, right? Like, it's literally going to last your lifetime, as long as you're not doing absolutely craziness, um, the durability, and then obviously the design work is top notch. And then customer service from Vitavon is part of, you know, bar none. It is, you're paying for all quality, whether it's material, design, or customer service. So it's awesome stuff. Again, I'm just, I'm going deep here on some basic stuff because I want you to understand why these are a $300 set of axles, right? You know, um, our links here are 80 bucks. You can, of course, go get some other brands off Amazon for way cheaper, but it's not the same as, as Vitavon. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. It's a it, There's a different experience. I mean, it's like buying a cheapy flip phone for 100 bucks and trying to compare it to the newest smartphone, whether it's an Apple or whatever, like the highest end smartphone. There's, there are clear differences um, in quality. And it's kind of like artwork or jewelry, right? Like it's 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 beautiful. Like it's absolutely gorgeous. We're, we're going to open up the rest of this. I know I'm talking a lot. Man, these are so cool. All right, guys. So these are obviously 7075 aluminum, machine milled. Uh, they are five millimeters wider than stock. So they are a little bit wider. You need a little bit extra track width out of there, which everybody likes anyway. Um, they obviously come with all the uh, heavy duty internals that Vitavon makes, all their hardened steel stuff. Um, it also has a steering link and servo mount included. I really wish we could use this servo mount. You can see right there. It says 7075 T6 aluminum. Basically the best stuff you can get. Same there. So it's labeled everywhere. Um, again, just just an awesome an awesome piece right here. This is this is beautiful stuff. And and that's why again, you can see how our you can see our mill work on the prototype, right? All the mill work from the machine milling. And so I felt like these are just going to be Ugh, they're going to be so good. I'm hoping that we can get that aluminum servo mount. If you're watching, sir, we need you. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open this stuff up and kind of show you uh, the internals as well. And we're going to grease them up because we know they're probably not. They might be greased. I don't know, but we'll, we'll check. Um, not 100% sure if they are, but we're definitely going to check and grease them up if they are not. Okay. 
comes with everything for the axle. Basically, you can just slap it right onto your rig and you're good to go. All right, let's start with, uh, I guess we'll start with the transmission. Let's open that up first. Yeah, we're dry as a bone in there, but that's understandable because most of Vitavon's market are not beginners that are just going to throw this into their truck. You know, most just about anybody that's going to buy Vitavon stuff has probably been in the hobby a while or at least knows what they're getting into with the Vitavon stuff. So um, they're going to want to open this up. They're going to want to put some grease in there. You're going to want to lock tight stuff, which we will be doing as well. Um, we probably won't be lock tightening the transmission until we get our motor mounted on there. Um, but yeah, man. It's just uh, precision, right? That's another thing. Vitavon is precision. So all of our standard standard stuff in there. We do have an extra set here for the center trans. So all this stuff is uh, made out of 45 pounds steel. Okay, so it's going to be much, much stronger. It's got the hardened treatment. It's all super, super strong. You can't really get much stronger. Um, it comes with the 11 tooth brass pinion gear same with this kit here it's also going to come with your spur gear um, an 1837 and then an 1840 i guess that's these are probably the exact same right and then the uh 40 tooth spur gear with the shaft right so all of our different spur gears and whatnot that we need in the transmission and you're gonna get the same thing here if you buy the entire transmission now the transmission gears uh, are currently on Vitavine's site for uh, $29. Yeah, $29 for these guys. And then the entire transmission housing with gears is $69. Now, the grease that we usually use is just some marine grease, Quicksilver 2,4C with PTFE. We usually just like to throw a little bit of this stuff on all of our gears. Just to make sure we have a little bit of lubrication. You don't want to go overboard, but should be good there. Man, this thing's going to be smooth as butter, too. I cannot wait to put this guy together. Now, we're going to be honest. This thing is probably going to be a shelf queen. We're going to drive it a little bit, but being that there's one of this, I mean, we're even labeled one in there, not 001 like the official release, but just one. <laughs> there, there's only one of these in the world, so we uh, definitely are going to have to take it easy on there. We have, we have other rippers. We have number 100 and number one, actual number one. Um, number 100 and then same for the SCX 24s we have the prototype number one and number 100 so we will probably we're going to build the 100s and those will be our, our daily drivers our runners um, and no I've been asked many times when people find out I have the prototype or number one or number 100 they are not for sale and they likely never will be I'll just be honest Unlike some people, we don't we don't just buy it to resell it. <laughs> There's a lot of people out there that have bought a bunch just to resell them, but that's that's not us. We don't do that. We are collectors through and through. All right. Um, so I'm gonna get these screws back in, and then we will look into the axles. Man, that's gonna be so nice. It's gonna be so nice. All right. Let's go ahead and open up some axles. So unfortunately, we can't use anybody else's servo mount. So ideally, may, maybe Vitavon themselves could come out with a laydown servo mount, basically this guy, right? And then people will have that option if they do buy uh, the axles to go ahead and run the laydown servo, essentially because um, a lot of people convert to laydown servos. So I think that's something Vitavon should consider. If not, maybe you can reach out to Opie Factory and get a 3D printed version. Or, um, yeah, you'll have to ask them for the files. They're their files. So we were lucky enough for them to send us out the files so that we could try to get a machine milled version. Um, but, yeah, unfortunately, your stock 
servo mounts are not going to mount here because it's just a little bit wider. There's, there's definitely a difference in the servo mount. Let's see, they've got uh, just two screws holding the diff covers in. And everything just like fits so perfect. Like you can't get better fitment than Vitabon stuff. All right. So we're gonna need to grease this guy up as well. It's got full bearings. And then our CVDs here, obviously. I am gonna try to get a link that, a drag link for this. Um, I don't know where I can get that, but we'll see if I can get, maybe, maybe this same person that's gonna make these can make us a drag link. Um, once we put our lay down servo in there and we can like be like a little shorty guy so we can still use these links because I'd really, really rather not have to change it out to um, to different links. So I, I like the Vitabon steering link for sure. I just would like to be able to use a lay down servo. We have to use a lay down servo. Um, does come with everything you need as far as pins for the axle shafts and all that good stuff. Everything else is standard as far as uh, the size of the shafts and your hexes and whatnot. Since I'm showing you the diff gear here, this is the ring and pinions that they bring. So their ring and pinion is uh, $25. And again, it's a 1224. And this is made of 20 CR steel with hardened, hardened treatment as well. Okay. And these axles come with the same 2412s. That's basically your stock gearing. Um, so if you want to do underdrive or overdrive, you should be able to these, they'll fit right in here. Um, another thing that's really cool, this is like 10th scale stuff here. The bearing carrier is separate. So it's not part of the diff cover. The diff cover doesn't have the bearing carrier portion milled into it. You actually have a separate bearing carrier here. Actually, yeah, I'm going to take out one side. Let's see if I can get it out and show you. Well, maybe we do. Maybe we need to pull this all out. Because so we're going to be Loctiting this up anyway, so we need to pull all these apart anyway. I tell you what, man, every tolerance on here is super, super perfect. Wow. And then, like, it's crazy. It feels super tight, but it had its freedom of movement is like. 100% freedom of movement. Like there's no binding at all. Yet the f tolerances are so perfect. Getting it apart, it feels like it's it would have been bound up, right? But it wasn't. That's crazy. I mean, you can see it's like it's loose, but it's got zero slop in there. Also, all their screws are super quality screws. They're high end. They're not, I mean, look at that. Like, it's just like, it's, it is in there. Perfect. The bearing tolerance right there. Perfect. You can't get tighter. And then see, once it comes apart, it just comes right apart. <laughs> That's crazy, guys. Oh, the bearing carriers don't come out. They are, they are, I thought they were, um, wow. Okay. Wow, guys. Okay, so I'm glad we took this apart. Holy crap. So the bearing carriers aren't just caps. I thought they were just caps that sat on top. They are not. They are full race, like, race holders. Wow, that's impressive. And then the bearing is just, like, in there perfect. I actually have a bearing tool. And that's what this guy is, if you've ever seen one of these. Pushes your bearings out without damaging them. Because if you push on the bearing at an angle or break your your kind of your shield or your seal, there could be bad times. But yeah, look at that little guy, man. And it's like again, machined perfect, guys. This is what you're paying for with these axles. This is why. Oh, dude, you got to put it your bearing in there perfectly straight. <laughs> perfectly straight.
<laughs> it's like perfect. I, I keep saying it, but it's like literally perfect. There's like no slop. Oh, beautiful work. Good job, Vitavon guys. Jeez. Yeah, you don't want to force these in crooked. See that? I don't know if you can see that. It's like barely crooked. You don't want you don't want to do that. So you can use your bearing tool to help set it straight. And try to drop this guy on there. Actually, it'd be better to go this way. Man, that's crazy. It's like literally perfect. I don't know how they machine that so well when it's so small. That's nuts. And then you can just assume your knuckles are going to be the exact same. Yeah. They're just like in there. You can tell when you're trying to push it out, it's snug. Piece of art, guys. Piece of art. Um, so, yeah. Same 12, 24 ring and pinion in here. Okay. Unfortunately, oh, man, don't lose these. Don't lose these. Flipping this axle around, and we're going to end up losing our little bushings. Already got one hiding right here. All right. So um, you're not going to be able to flip the ring and pinion if you're to do a six by six on these guys. Unfortunately, um, your axle pinion is always going to be on the same side, or the ring is always going to be the same side. And on a six by six, you need to flip it to the other side on the last axle. Um, so unfortunately, you're not going to do that unless Vitavon makes another axle housing for a six by six, which could be pretty cool. But like I said, if you look at their six by six for the TRX six, yeah, that's a that's a beast of a of, of a machine, right? Like the the parts are huge, so I get the pricing there. But um, six by six on this could be fun, Vitavon, maybe, maybe, maybe. Anyway, it's just um, great bearings, super smooth, great fitments. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy back together, and then I'm gonna weigh this stuff and let you know. And just to show you guys, the rear is the same. It's got the bearing carriers, obviously, and all that stuff. So same thing, pretty sweet. And I just, I got to convey just how precise the machining is in this stuff. So we're not sitting perfectly flat. Because it's sitting, I mean, it's, it, we're not all the way in yet, but like, it's so precise that you got to kind of just get it in there just right, perfectly straight. And then it snaps right in. I don't know if you could hear that, but it like pop, kind of pops in when it goes in perfect. Freaking insane. So good, guys. So good. All right, so here we go. We got our front and our rear. Looks like our front is 54.2 grams. Our rear is 37.4. Our transmission is 30.6 and then our rear skid coming in at 20.5 all right so seems good we almost have a 60 40 weight distribution just in the axles not counting the servo right so once the servo's on there you're definitely going to be forward biased but you know there's a lot that goes into play with the whole rig and whatnot but there is that I think I forgot to mention the price of this guy as well. The skid comes in at $35. Okay. If you're curious about the links, I guess we can weigh those real quick. The links come in at 21.9 grams. These little ball joints are pressed in and they move nice and smooth, just like you would expect. Uh, they are free, free as a bird. Looking good. So that'll be awesome. Well, there you have it, everyone. Thanks for sticking around to check this stuff out. If you haven't 
seen the Vitavon stuff, you definitely need to go look at it. I mean, we just showed you this, but they have a ton of other stuff they offer. Um, definitely check out some of that LMT stuff, the mini LMT, the 118 scale. Uh, here's some pictures of it. I don't know why it wasn't showing on mobile. Maybe reach out to them. We'll probably let them know um, that there's something going on with their mobile menu being different than their desktop menu. But either way, uh, definitely check it out on desktop. They've got tons of cool stuff there. You can probably use the search bar to find it as well if you're on mobile. Um, sorry we weren't able to show all that stuff in a build. We will get there. We're going to do a build. Um, at least now when we go to do the build, we don't have to dive as deep into that stuff. So it should save us a little bit of time on the build video. Um, but let us know what you think of the video on stuff down below in the comments. Um, it's definitely, like I said, it's top tier, top notch. There's quality and precision that you can get, guys. It's it's amazing. It, it's hard to convey through video. And that's why I've been, this video is so long for not even being a build video um, because I'm trying to convey and show you through video as much as I can how good the parts are. It's nuts. Um, and again, we, we paid for a lot of this. I think we got the links for free or something like that. Um, so it was pricey, but I think it's worth it, especially for what it's going on. Uh, we're excited for that. It's gonna be one of the crown jewels of our collection for sure. They're by far the best 18, as far as quality is concerned, for a kind of a stock replacement, they are hands down the best axles um, quality wise. Just, you can't beat the quality of them. It's nuts, they're nuts. I, I mean, just the feeling in your hand, um, I, I don't know, it's, it's hard to describe. Um, hopefully some of you guys out there are able to check these out. If you have checked these out, put down in the comments below your thoughts on them. I know not a lot of people have them. Heck, a lot of people don't even know about Vitavon, um, except people that have been in, in the hobby for a long time or that really want those like shelf queen top end builds that are just like all out nutso builds. Joe from Exo Cage Darcy, um, I'll show his there. It's a six by six that he built using all Vitavon stuff. It's absolutely bonkers. The truck is so sick. It's, I mean, you gotta check it out. You gotta check it out. We'll put a link actually. We'll put the link, uh, yeah, over there. Um, so you can check out the video. It's just it's nuts. Um, <laughs> Joe, Joe does some crazy stuff. So definitely check out his channel. Um, he's been doing it for a long time. And uh, definitely check out Vitavon, guys. Again, put down in the comments below. Vita, what? If you watched the whole video, I totally appreciate it. Maybe reach out to Vitavon as well and tell them, uh, make us a laydown servo. Send us a laydown servo. That'd be awesome. All righty, guys. Um, get out there and build something awesome. Build a car, build a course, build a community. And then smash it, crash it, and bash it, but don't break your Vitavon parts. Damn it, we forgot to tell you to like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell so that you can uh, know when the new video goes up when we do do the build and to help the channel out because you guys want to help the channel out. Get some swag. Peace.